This video will go over how to create customized email campaigns. In order to get started, first make sure you have already set up an email template. If you have not, there's videos going over how to set up the email template. The campaign will automate that email template for you. First, navigate into your Campaigns tab above and from the drop-down select Campaign Manager. Within this page, you'll be able to see all of the campaigns that you have created. If you are new, this page is most likely blank. Go ahead and click on the button Create Custom Email Campaign. So once you click on the Create Custom Email Campaign, you'll be navigated into this page where you are able to go ahead and create the campaign. Campaign name is internal, so this is just for your reference. We're going to go ahead and create a campaign for a seller feedback request. This is a section where you would tie in what template you would like to automate. So we're going to go ahead and click on New Seller Feedback Request Pre-Built. The status, this is where you would disable it, delete it, or activate it. We're going to go ahead and click on Active. This is where you would select which marketplace you would like to set this campaign up for. Label colors are internal, so they are just for your reference as well if you would like to set up a label color. For target orders, these are your options as the status. So for seller feedback requests, I'm going to go ahead and just use shipped, but you have options such as delivered, returned, refunded, unshipped, any type of seller feedback, or promotions. We're going to go ahead and select shipped. For a channel, this is where you would select FBA or FBM or both. For exclude orders, these are your following exclusion options such as any type of seller feedback provided, promotions, or returns, refunds, or delayed shipment. These are the exclusions that you are able to select. For a schedule, you have the option of sending it as soon as possible or daily. If you do select daily, go ahead and select what time you would like to send out the email and then how many days after the order is shipped. This is shipped because that is the status above. So we're going to go ahead and select two days after the order is shipped at 8 o'clock a.m. is when the email will go out. For order matching rules, this is where you're going to go ahead and select which ASINs to plug in for this campaign. Or you have the option to go ahead and use SKU contains, SKU equals, or SKUs to exclude, or product name contains. So we're going to go ahead and select all products. So this campaign will apply to your entire product inventory. Underneath advanced options, you have the ability to target buyers based on their buyer purchase count. So by default, these four are always selected, but if you would only like to target your repeat buyers, you would unselect the first purchase. For more information on the buyer purchase count, go ahead and click here and there's a video going over how to set this up. So right now this campaign is set up, you would just click review and save. So don't include past days is the option that I'm going to use. You do have the ability to select past days, but you have to use the delivered status, not shipped. As of right now, I'm going to use don't include past days and click on create campaign. So now that I have saved the campaign, I am able to see that it is above here for the seller feedback request using my template, new seller feedback request pre-built, and I can see that the status is active. This is last updated at this time, and it is targeting the U.S. marketplace. The open rates no longer exist as they can't be detected, so ignore that part, but from above here, you'll be able to see how many emails you have sent and how many are queued. You can always click on that option and select the date range as well to see how many emails have sent as well. Again, there's no more open rate, so ignore that part. You can always click on the action button as well if you wanted to go ahead and click on edit campaign. If you wanted to apply labels, that makes sorting a lot easier. If you have multiple campaigns, you can do so. If you wanted to preview how your template looks like, you can click on preview and this pop-up will display how the email looks like. Keep in mind that this is just a preview and it is just sample data. So when the buyer actually purchases the order from you, it will populate accordingly to the order. You can always check your stats graph. If you wanted to duplicate the campaign or delete the campaign, you can do so as well. That's how easy it is to set up email campaigns.
Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information, please visit feedbackwiz.com.